I am Anil Kumar and on request of my students, here is question number 12 page 179's solution. The question is, find the critical points for each function. Use the first derivative test to determine whether the critical point is a local maximum, local minimum or neither. So in such questions, first thing is find critical point as mentioned, right? So that is to say, find the derivative of the given function. Derivative in this case is minus 3x squared and here it is plus 6x. It's a good idea to factor the derivative. So let's factor by taking minus 3x common. We get x minus 2. Right? So that is the derivative. To find the critical point, so we say critical point, is always when the derivative is either 0 or undefined. Now this derivative uh, cannot be undefined but it can be 0. So for 0 what do we get? For 0 critical numbers are x equals to 0 or x equals to 2. So these are the two critical numbers for us. Now what we are going to do is to analyze on either side of this critical number whether the rate of change or the derivative changes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing or not. So we have two critical numbers, one is at 0, the other one is at 2, right? So these are the two critical numbers, 0 and 2, and we are trying to analyze the derivative of the function, remember that. Now let's take test points. So test points in intervals minus infinity to 0 could be minus 1, between these two could be 0 and 3. So at each interval, we'll substitute the value in the derivative and see whether it is positive or negative, right? That is what we are going to understand. So if I write minus 1 here, what do I get? So that is to say, let us find what is the derivative at minus 1. So if I write minus 1 here, I get minus 3 times minus 1 times minus 1 minus 2 and that is 3 times minus and minus 2 is minus 3, we get a value which is negative 9. Negative, right? So basically in this portion, we get negative derivative. Negative means that the graph of the function will be decreasing. You get the idea, right? That is what it means. Similarly, let us find the derivative at 0. So substitute 0 now. So when you substitute 0 here, so we get minus 3 times 0 times 0 minus 2. And that gives you, I mean, I'm sorry, I've taken a wrong number here. Between 0 and 2, I should have taken 1. So let me take 1 here. So we'll substitute 1 here. Correct. So when I substitute 1 here, it is minus 3 times minus 1, right? And that is positive 3. Positive 3 means positive, means the function will be increasing in this interval. Perfect. Now let us take the test point as 3, right? So f, so the derivative at 3 will be, I'll substitute 3 for x. So minus 3 times 3, and then we have 3 minus 2. That is minus 9 times 1, which is negative 9, correct? Negative means the rate of change is decreasing, so function will be decreasing. As you can clearly see here, at 0, we have minimum since the rate of change or the derivative is changing from decreasing to increasing from negative to positive and we have maximum at x equals to 2 right so we can write down our answer that at the first critical point which is x equals to 0 we have a minimum right so we have minimum here and at the second uh, we have maximum reason as you can see it changes from decreasing to increasing giving you minimum when it changes from increasing to decreasing you get maximum so what you get here is minimum at x equals to 0 and maximum at x equals to 2 right so that is how you can actually answer this particular question now I've taken up another example here this time the function is g of x equals to 3x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed. So we'll follow the same steps. First step derivative, which is 12x cubed minus 12x squared. 
So factor, so when you factor you get 12, x squared is a common factor and what you really get here is x minus 1, right? So that is the factor. Now what are the critical points? Again, the critical points for us are, let's say critical numbers. So when we say critical numbers, we only find the x value, right? Not the y value. So x is equals to 0, that is one critical number which gives it 0. The second one is x equals to 1. Now we need to test whether at these critical numbers we have maximum or minimum or not, right? So for that, we will again take some test points, right? So we do have two critical numbers. These critical numbers are at 0 and 1, right? 0 and 1. So the test points could be, let's take here minus 1, we'll take half as a value here, and 2. And what are we testing? We are testing the derivative g, right? So g dash x, g prime x. So let us calculate the value of g prime at these test points. So g prime at minus 1 will be equals to, if I substitute minus 1 here, we get 12 minus 1 whole square, minus 1 minus 1 and it is negative right because that becomes positive this is minus 2 it is negative 24 negative means derivative is negative that means function is decreasing correct beyond 0 and between and less than 1 we have half as a value so if I substitute half here I get 12 half square this is always positive, remember that, right? So if I write half minus 1, I again get negative answer. Do you see that? This is also negative. So negative of half, so 1 fourth. So we have 12. I'm calculating value. It is not really required to be calculated. Negative of this. So, so whatever you get here is 6 divided by 4, 4 times 3. So 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is what you get. It is negative. Negative means that the function is decreasing. Do you see that? The function is decreasing. If I take 2 as my test point, then the derivative at this critical, beyond this critical point between 1 to infinity will be 12 and I am writing 2 here, 2 square, 2 minus 1, which is 1 positive. So now we get positive. Do you see that? 4 times 12 is 48. So it is positive 48. Positive means that the function will be increasing, right? Now here we know that at this point, critical first critical point at x equals to 0, the function is neither local minimum nor, nor local maximum nor local minimum. So this is neither, right? Since it is decreasing both sides, however, here we have local minimum, right? So that is how you can analyze the critical number and find whether at each critical point we have a local minimum maximum or not. So in this case at x equals to 0 is neither, right? And at x equals to 1 we have local minimum. Reason is that on either side when we look, go from left to right then the derivative is decreasing to increasing. So it changes from negative to positive. Function is decreasing to increasing, right? And therefore, we have local minimum at that point. I hope that helps. Thank you.